So my name is Jim Franklin Mackingham. I am an experienced designer here in Fusion. And one of my projects is what we're looking at now, looking at a UI revamp for Fusion, including a new uh, light mode theme and a new dark mode theme. I'm still running what we call Fusion Classic. So this is the theme that's been a part of Fusion for a very long time. How do I go and try the new themes? To change our themes within Fusion, we go to our top right uh, avatar icon, we click in there, and we go into our preferences. And from there, and now you'll see a themes dropdown. And if we open that up, we'll have multiple options. So macOS will be in our latest update. Uh, we're introducing it so we can now have Fusion match your device theme, so either light or dark, and that will be populated with our new light gray and our new uh, dark blue theme. I'm going to change it to light gray and see what happens. So I'm going to hit apply, go to OK. Seems pretty similar to Fusion Classic. There's not going to be some crazy changes in between. We are basically focusing on providing a unified experience, uh, not just within Fusion, but also across multiple um, Autodesk products. As in Fusion, you probably would have seen a lot of artifacts of different UIs as we kind of building Fusion throughout the years. And there might be different elements of like purely OS things to like older design systems and everything like that. So the same way that we are unifying our visual language throughout Fusion and our experience, uh, we also want to unify that and use Weave to unify it across the multiple Autodesk properties. Gotcha. Okay, sweet. I'm going to go and now turn on dark blue. All right, sweet. Now we're in what, we, what what the community passionately calls it dark mode. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you, I feel like this is the most asked for and exciting aspect of our UI. It's uh, we finally have a dark mode. It's our dark blue. Hopefully uh, we can help you not burn out your eyes during those long late night sessions working away at Fusion. Again, we're, we got a ton of early feedback. Uh, a lot of it was really good feedback and certain areas we clearly hurt our users and we implemented the changes and we're still implementing changes as we see. What are some current priorities that we're, we're working on, let's say from now till end of the year? I want to say the first and foremost priority, uh, it's polishing. So any sort of like bugs or weird things that might be popping up we're constantly working on it um we're listening to feedback from our insiders and just users in general maybe you'll open up like a, a certain dialogue really buried in there that might not have like a dark mode yet uh, something that we're actively working on it and we are targeting that as fast as possible and the idea for the end of the year is to have a one-to-one -one comparison to what, what we have now but in our updated weave standards for both light gray and dark blue. Uh, another top priority is uh, what we said. It will be coming out soon in our next update. It's matching OS theme. Device matching will be our default setting for our theme. Uh, so what does that mean? So if you're a user in Fusion Classic and your device has a light mode, then Next time you open Fusion, after this update, you will default to our light gray theme. But if you're a user that has your device in dark mode, then the next time you open Fusion after this update, you'll default to uh, dark blue. And then if you are a existing user that already has la, uh, our light gray theme and you're you're using a also a device with a light mode, then you're not going to see much of a change. You're still going to stay in, in light gray. These are all settings that you can change again, once again, in the, in the user preferences, but that will be the default that you will see after this update. What are some things the community can expect, let's say, early next year and beyond? Yeah, for sure. So what we're looking at early next year and beyond is retiring the Fusion Classic theme. We are retiring it for a couple of different aspects of it. The first one is we are, want to provide a unified experience. Fusion Classic theme uh, was a little bit of an amalgamation of uh, different UI artifacts and elements from different products. Certain aspects made it a little bit of like clashing. Uh, this new themes allows us to provide that unified experience uh, and also like a cohesive visual language throughout. In addition to that, this allows us to maintain a single 
source code for our developer resources. This is not just a Fusion effort, but uh, it's a whole Autodesk effort as a whole. We're not aiming to retire Fusion Classic until we have a one-to-one -one comparison in both uh, light gray and dark blue. So there's not going to be anything left over, uh, or sorry, left behind uh, when it comes down to retire Fusion Classic. How does the community give feedback around things that they're seeing uh, today in in the uh, in the UI themes? From our uh, insider program, which I want to say that is the 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 one main source I would say we would collect our feedback is joining our insider program. Uh, beyond that, we have like our fusion forums, and uh, we have in product ways of providing feedback too. But uh, it is extremely important. Uh, we want to hear you guys, and we want to understand. Uh, what you like, what you don't like, what we could do more of. Uh, and from there, we take very actionable items from there and implement them as we can. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to everybody else using it and hearing what the community has to say about it.